This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Cincinnati still in the running to be a host city for the 2026 World Cup. Hamilton County commissioners voted to authorize a revised contract with FIFA just hours ago now. Business leaders promised to raise money to cover expenses that Hamilton County cannot afford. Commissioners also authorized the county administrator time to finalize the FIFA agreement in time for FIFA's deadline tomorrow. Right now, Westchester police are looking for the driver of that white Ford Edge SUV after a woman's body was found on the side of a road Saturday. They say the vehicle likely has front end damage on the passenger side. The coroner says 46 year old Sherry Haywood died of multiple traumatic injuries. She was found dead along Mulhauser Road near State Route 747. If you recognize that vehicle, call police. We're learning more about the security guard killed by an inmate at a hospital in Dayton, Ohio. Daryl Holderman lived in Warren County. Police say Brian Booth was being treated at a Miami Valley hospital when he took the gun, shot Holderman, then shot himself. All of this unfolded in the parking lot behind the emergency room. Holderman worked for a company hired by the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office to provide security for inmates who are admitted to hospitals. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Steve. Okay, Tanya, as we look at things, we're going to continue to see some clearing around the tri-state, and by morning, we'll see some sunshine, but we'll also have a little patchy fog, temperature down to 56 at 7 a.m. Then it's sunshine and 78 degrees for the tri-state. Very nice Friday to get into our weekend. Saturday looks equally nice. Maybe a few extra clouds on Sunday, but mild and mostly sunny. Some wet weather will start next week.